Thank you, Dan. And as we track the tropics this afternoon, severe storms sparked by Hurricane Ernesto are now being blamed for deaths and property damage in the Northeast U.S. And as News 15's Laura Aguirre explains, the threat continues with Ernesto miles off the coast, but close enough to land a powerful punch. The water's up to the wall right there, the top of the wall. The destructive and now deadly floodwaters that washed over parts of the Northeast Sunday rose quickly, trapping many people inside homes and businesses. Look at that going across there, my God. Up to 10 inches of rain fell across parts of southwestern Connecticut. We are talking about rainfall in some areas in the thousand year um, level. A dam along the Housatonic River was no match for the torrential weekend storms. Water rushed over its top, worsening the flooding downriver. It's all the way up to here. Now we're now standing in a foot of water in the bar. Firefighters in Oxford used their ladder truck for the daring overwater rescue of 19 people and a dog from an inn Sunday night. We are already working with municipalities and our state agencies and our federal partners to determine whether or not we can ask for some federal assistance. The full scope of property damage and the death toll could expand as waters recede in the coming hours and collapsed buildings are more closely searched, an effort made more challenging by the chance of severe weather along the Upper East Coast Monday and by Ernesto, currently a Category 1 hurricane off the coast that's battering several coastal areas with its outer bands, resulting in a number of high wave and riptide warnings. Forecasters predict Ernesto will become a form of Tropical Cyclone Tuesday and spin out to sea. I'm Laura Aguirre for News 15.